warm weekends are back, and the Home Depot is here to help make the most of your outdoor projects with number one rated Olympic Elite Stain. Enhance the natural beauty of the wood on decks, fencing, furniture, and more with an anti-fading waterproof shield backed by a lifetime warranty. Your project can weather any weather. Guaranteed. Upgrade to Olympic Elite, America's most trusted brand, at The Home Depot. How doers get more done. For the ones standing guard. For the eagle-eyed. For the knights in shining armor. And for all those who support them. We are Granger, your experienced safety partner. Offering supplies and solutions for every industry. Committed to helping keep your facilities safe and your people safer. Call, click Granger.com slash safety, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Morning meeting. We said a lot of stuff off recording because Satish was dropping some, some bombs. Bombs. My year, I had a whole vision about your greatness. I did. I did. I did. Are you ready? You ready? You ready? Is is it? Are you excited? Yes, I am all set, all ready. It's a super good. excited. Good, good, good. I have. I am very invested in the rise of you. Nothing uh, would make me happier than to see that. I, I and I and my ego most certainly wants to be responsible for it too. Let me tell you, okay, <laughs> let me tell you, without a doubt, I am excited for that. Now, yesterday, I politely screamed at y'all. That's what we gonna call it, and said, you know, you're not focused enough. Okay, you're not focused enough. Now, Deanna's proven all sorts of media requests. So let's let me let me give you the punchline. And then we're going to talk. I think it was Friday, maybe. I broke down the uh, some Friday, some class don't matter. I said 818,000 people. Grace, give us the numbers. 818,000 times, is it 35%? Is... Well, you're supposed to memorize the numbers, though. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, see, that's that's that's. I'm coming back. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Monica, give me the numbers. S- Susan, that's a smart-looking background you got there. Yes, yes, it is. It is handsome. Look at that. Go ahead and talk so they can see it. So it can be captured forever. A mute mic so they can see it forever. Yeah, I'm trying to get myself in the middle of the two things here. <laughs> the struggle of media. The struggle of media. <laughs> you move this way, it's actually that way, and you move that way. Yeah, I, I get it. I, <laughs> I get it. Yay! <laughs> awesome, Monica. Got the numbers? I don't. I mean, not necessarily the breakdown, but I had two hundred fifty-two thousand in my head. All right, it's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right. Reggie, you got the numbers? Uh, Here we go. Say that again. You got the numbers? Remember the numbers, the formula? Yeah. All right. What was the formula? And yes, you're right, Satish. Satish said it to me privately. All right. Well, let me start off by saying, oh, let me let me put this out there first. Now, yes, don't, don't worry about it, Deanna. I'll put it out there. I'll put it out there. I need Reggie, need Monica, need Grace, need y'all to copy and paste that. I need you to remember it because it's showing up. You know what I'm saying? We got we got we got we we, we got to talk. We got to talk. And what else to say? Also extended the the Reggie and Deanna's teaching eight weeks because I'm that has become my favorite night of the week. Yes, so they're gonna do conversations with God part one, part two, and part three. All right, Susan. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a natural progression. It, it, it didn't have much of a choice. Yes, yes. Part one, part two, and part three. And here's the cool thing. Let me tell you why. 
I am excited about that because admittedly, I haven't read part two and part three. So I get to read with them. Every other book I have read and just got to, I went back over my, my highlights. You know how you mark in a book or something? I'm back over my highlights. But this time, I get to be in the journey because I haven't read part two or part three. I was and just going to say, we've got highlighted books if you need them. <laughs> yeah. I think that's good to, for you to be fresh with it. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to being fresh with it. Look at it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because part one was life changing. I mean, it was, and, you know, forget the details that happened within the book. All that was life changing. What was life changing was just watching him be so angry. Well, watching him, you know, my imagination. He was so angry in the beginning, and then God was speaking. And that whole dynamic, that whole narrative was powerful for me because I used to be a very angry person. But I didn't bring my anger to God. I brought my anger to cracking doors and windshields and stuff. I wish I had some angry folk out there with bruised knuckles. I, I ain't the only one. Some of y'all should be in jail. You just didn't get caught. All right, that's <laughs> a lot of angry people out there right now, as we've seen on the news. And that yes really help these people Antonio yeah absolutely absolutely so I'm looking forward between Deanna and Reggie they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna slaughter that and that's and I mean that in a good way it's gonna be fantastic and we'll make sure um, Reggie you get the books and we'll go from there it's gonna be amazing in fact Deanna if you want to take care of that today you can now the it's 286,000 I saw I saw you Monica appreciate you but you need to all right, I want all of you to pay attention, right? Because if it's happening to my team, which is the best team on planet Earth, it is happening to you and your team. Now, I don't mean to push that on you. I'm just telling you like attracts like since we're here. If I'm struggling, so are you. Do you understand? Like we've decided to co-create and there could be no co-creation without recognizing that what is in you is also in me. We just got to accept that, okay? We got to accept that. Let me spit the, oh, hold on, let me make sure, Monica, are you there? Can I give me some audible? Oh yeah, I'm here. Outstanding. All righty. Now, I can see, I can see Grace and Deanna's face, so good. And then, okay, Rachel must have just dropped off. The, by the way, I'll be, with Justin today doing an interview. So I'll be with that that young king. Yes, I'll be looking forward to that as well. Now, pay attention to me, y'all. Um, this is, this is a, I'm not fit to get on y'all, but I need to align you in the right direction. Your energy needs to match your goal. I, I tried to, we, we said this yesterday. You had three hours of transformation. You walked away going, wow, and didn't do a damn thing. You got to stop doing that. Okay. And here's the deal. Some going to say, but I did. And I know you did. And I'm not saying that you didn't. I'm saying you ain't do a damn thing. What you mean? You just said, let me tell you what I mean. Just because you did something don't mean you did anything. That's not this. Accomplishing is the only thing that is done. Anything else is average people stuff. You got to have that mindset. Like even if you go all out and you fail and you get your face broken, that was a great day because you went all out. You figured out how to get your face broken so it doesn't happen that way again. There is a pathology associated with massive success. Case in point, I said, I told y'all this, what, what day was this, Grace, when I, when I did this formula? I'm going to post it again so everybody can see it. Kept saying, kept saying, I drew it out. 
I drew it out. I drew it out. I drew it out. I drew it out. Give it to me, Grace. What day? Approximately. Friday, I believe. Friday. I believe it was Friday. In the, uh... I think it was too. I said I wanted to reach how many people? 818,000. All right. Since what's, what's, what's as of today's recording? What's today? August 5th. No, no, forget all that. What's today's day of the week? Oh, Wednesday. Right, Wednesday. I don't August fifth. I'm that's I went to public school. I can't translate that stuff. All right. Wednesday. All right. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, if you count Friday. Six days, yes? If you count Friday. And six days through my focusness. Law of Attraction over 10. Right now, if you just go on Reminder, okay, directly after the call. Make sure there's no request. The that are unfulfilled. Okay. Right okay. now, there are, I don't know, maybe 12 publishers with over 200,000 audience, 600,000 audience, and millions that I will be on in the next 24 hours, all at the same time. Pay attention. Depending on how you're listening, if you're open and receptive, you're hearing, wow, okay. So if you are open, if you're receptive, if you chase your dreams, your dreams will chase you. It's actually, there's actually a universal law. It's called law of accelerating acceleration. That's a real thing. The law of accelerating acceleration says that the more Steve chased me, the more I chased him. It's, it just is what it is. It's, that's how it works. You don't have to go the full distance. You got to go the full speed. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it right there. You ain't got to go the full distance. You got to go the full speed. The universe will meet you, but you got to go the full speed. So if you're open and receptive, you hear me saying, I asked to reach 818,000 people by the end of Jan, I mean, by the end of December 31st. Remember? I let y'all pick. I said, you said, right? And I said, I was taking fiscal year. Monica said, well, I'm thinking December. I said, cool. Remember that? Through me being who I am, the mind I have, by, by who I am, I don't mean me. I mean, dreams, give it to me now. Right? That's that's me all day. All day. And then the mindset I have. But I ain't got to fight for nothing. Arr! Same time, though, right? It's, it's a, I'm a paradox between both. I didn't wait till December 31st. I waited till Wednesday, August 5th, Grace. Rewind, press play. said December 31st, but the results, the harvest said, nah, the fastest, easiest, quickest, most harmonious way for you to do that is not ads. You forget all that. We going to give it to you personally. Oh, you was getting ready to spend $2 million, which I still am anyway. Oh, we'll do it. No charge. We were on press play. I'm trying to get you to say, be open, be receptive. I ain't talking about me. I'm talking about one who says, I will not be denied and I would do anything. I would do everything. And every TV I got to stop watching, everything I got to stop doing, 
every energy I need to exhort and exhaust, I will do. And the universe says, I will match that effort. But I told y'all yesterday, some of you specifically, I literally get, sent a screenshot, cropped it out, sent. And if you did anything, you did it once. Let's, let's, let's all process this information. Let's process a couple of pieces of information. Let's process me as a person first. I don't fail. You think that's arrogant all you want to. I do not fail. Nah, nah. I don't even care what you think. Sugar, I do not fail. I refuse. That ain't, that's not, you, I don't care if you call me arrogant. I just believe in God. I just got far more faith in your God than you do, because I don't fail. Because greater is he who's in me. Do you understand? So I ain't tripping. So you can doubt, but I was told I was going to do greater things than this, so I don't fail. I get punched in the face, my nose get broke, my legs get broken. It is what it is, but I get myself back up, and I'm going to get what I'm going to get because I said I was going to get it because exceedingly and abundantly above all that I can ask or think is mine, period, point blank. That is not arrogant. That is faithful. Period. You're just not used to people being bold and saying, Psh, I believe what it is. You're not used to that. So you call it arrogant. So let's just examine me for a second. I'm going to get the 818,000 people. I'm going to get to that 286,000 people. Then I'm going to get to $100,000 or 100,000 people paying $19.99 a month, that's unaccounted for money. Then I'm going to get to create 100,000 millionaires. I'm going to get to $100 billion, and I'm going to get anything that I ever said. And the only thing that will ever interrupt that, Jerry, is death itself, but it would never be me. So it would be wise, now we're processing your information, that you say, Look at God. The food around gave me Barack Obama before people knew about him. Look at God. Then gave me Winston Churchill before people knew about him, before he changed history. And I can keep going on and on and on. I keep telling y'all, I'm Netflix pushing out DVDs right now. I keep, I keep telling you, man, we Netflix mail in DVDs, Susan. I ain't even got it together yet. I'm not, I don't know how, how to package it from California to Florida yet. We still working that out. <laughs> right? we, we still working that out. That, that's where we at as a company. What I got going for me is I'm a 14-year overnight success. So I, that's, that's, that's what I got going for me. <laughs> so I've been building a brand for 14 years, and now people go, oh, yeah, they, they late, but that's okay, though. They have their purpose. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it would behoove you to recognize, thank you, thank you, Deanna. It would behoove you to recognize, oh, yo. So I attracted not only this crazy dude, but the whole situation. And just like he said, exceedingly and abundantly above all that I could ask or, or he could ask or think for, that supplies to me too. So if I'm in alignment with me and you in alignment with you, there is no oppressor or oppression that could ever stop us, period, point blank. But the only thing that's stopping you is that middle class effort. It's killing y'all. Woke up this morning to, to five major publication messages I had to approve. The, that five turns into 12. I say, Donna, wake up. She said, I'm already woke. Congrats, congrats. Thank you, sir. She said, I'm already woke. What's up? 
I say, man, she say, she say, listen, I say, change your vibe, man. Give wake up. I said, my vibe, she said, my vibe good. It's all good. I'm ready. Well, I said, I need you to help me with this. She's doing it right now, even as we speak. Now, every day I, I was in, I was at Houston Baptist University. It was just, just this library and she was, she was this, I don't know, four foot 11 white woman, 92 pounds, about 80 years old. Just as sweet as could be, right? Pretty like Susan, just, you know what I'm saying? Just as sweet as she could be, and, and blonde. Not my measurements. <laughs> <laughs> I got the measurements. <laughs> That's too funny. And she say, "Look, I was I was a freshman. I ain't know what to do. I was completely intimidated. On my class ring, it actually says you belong, Tony, because my whole undergrad, I, I was having this permanent crisis from 2011 to 2014. Yeah, 14 when I graduated." I was having this crisis in my head. I don't belong here. I don't belong here. I, it, it's fair, y'all, because now fair don't mean right. I'm just saying it was fair because my table mate was a 19-year-old with a drop-top BMW red drop-top, top of the line, 80,000, 90,000 vehicle. And she showed me, oh, my God, look at my new car, right? Hell yeah, my dad just bought some houses. And he want to make sure and I bounce around and figure out. And I'm like, oh, that's dope. Robin was her name. Real talk. Still know it to this day. And I rode to school 60 miles in a red car with a cracked back windshield. I ain't lying. No AC. And that car wouldn't last another two months, Jerry. Cause I had to pay for school myself, Steve. And I say, man, I don't belong here, man. Cause I went to, I know, again, my same joke. I know y'all don't know I'm black, but I went to a 98% white school. Let me tell you, okay. <laughs> Culture shock. Let me tell you. I mean, did, did they notice? <laughs> Did they notice? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they were all kind, that's for sure. <laughs> all kind. And I mean to tell you, listen, it was crazy. And this lady saw me intimidated. And I don't know. She had a word, Steve. And I, I, I'm sure y'all have heard this before, but I never heard it before, Jerome. She said, young man. Take your ID and smile. You've been smiling the whole time. Because y'all know how I laugh a lot, right? Because I'm, I'm, this is how early, you know, I've got to get my, my school ID. Like, take your smile. And so I smile. Like my, my smile that light up my whole face. And she said, look at that. If you, I'm going to show you my ID before this call. It's got a huge smile on it, right? A huge smile on it. And she says, right after that, Susan, say, young man, that smile is so powerful. Every time that you your feet hit the ground, the devil ought to be running from you with a smile like that. And I went, lady, did you just teach me something? <laughs> did you just First off, she had to say nothing. Now, my point is, Somebody ought to have a reaction every morning. You get up. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you should be, you should get up. And somebody should go, yes, she's up. And all your detractors should be afraid you got up. Here it says, I want to be delivered. I mean that real talk. Real talk. I mean that. Yo, 818,000 people, yo. Grace, Monica, Reggie, Deanna. See, Deanna got this this morning. Y'all getting the overflow. 
is your energy really matching that, yo? Is y'all's? Because in order to get 818, what is that? What is $100,000 times 20, Grace? What is that? That's residual. How much money is that? Two million. In order to get two million a month, you understand? That's energy. Money is just energy. How much energy does it take to make two dollars a month? A lot. No, no, real talk. Two dollars. To there are people who have been employed that do not know how to generate their own two dollars if you paid them to do so. To generate two dollars out of nothing is an act of God. Two dollars. Two dollars causes you to tap into source and create like you've never created before. Now do two million. It's not the same energy. Now, listen, Jerome. Somebody, somebody mad. Let me tell you what they're saying right now. I, I hear the shit all the time. Let me tell you what they're saying, man. He tripping. He too intense. He shouldn't be calling me out. First off, I ain't calling nobody out, but you go ahead and say all that stuff anyway. He being me. I hear it all the time. And my response to all that, y'all, is you absolutely right. Sounds like I, insecurity. Psh, bruh, I can't relate to losers. I don't understand. I don't have it in me, my Yuri. I just don't. Sugar. Please don't invite me to your church and, and y'all start acting like losers. I know that's not going to happen. And then expect me to be okay with staying there. I don't fit well with that situation. I want too much. I expect too much. It's championship or nothing. I would rather die than to be average. I'm just, I'm not saying, I'm dead serious. I, I, I can't stand it. Gave the blueprint. Took three hours of my time. Submitted to the energy. Boom, boom, boom. Y'all got it? Everybody said, wow. And y'all ain't changed none of your behavior. And I'm supposed to be your friend and let you commit suicide in front of me? Nah, not doing that. I don't roll like that, Steve. Not me. Now, if you got friends that let you be overweight, that's you and your friends. The moment I told my friends I want to lose weight, they never gave me another Reese's peanut butter cup, period. I don't hang with nobody that's going to let me be a weight that I don't want to be, Jerry. So why is you hanging with people that's allowing you to be middle when you don't want to be middle no more? And if you tell me you want to be a mean now, you can't do average shit no more. Real talk. I'm saying it the way I want to say it. You get you to receive this. Man, where's, where's the hunger? Antonio? Yes, ma'am. So um, I do coaching on the side. I'm still doing my coaching on the side. Um, and I, I find that individuals that are doing that, that stay around the same people, um, it's because somehow in their head, they feel better than those folks. So it makes them feel like they're doing something with their lives. So it's better to feel better than in one group than it is to feel the bottom pot of the pot in another group before you get to where you need to go. So they stay stuck in that. And it's so hard to get them out of it when I'm doing the coaching. And every time I'm doing that with them, I'm thinking about myself. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Carol, 
the brilliance that just flowed out of your throat just now. You... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let me tell you something. I want you to do a whole 30-day series of what you just said. That's some content for you. Real talk. You hit the nail on the head, and nobody in none of these squares could have said that in this moment with that tone and the way you did it like you. I am telling you, you killed that. Y'all unmute your mics and clap for her, because that was 100% facts. <laughs> Real. God, that was good. Listen, let me real talk. You figure out how to do a 30 day series on that. And you just record that. And you fool that was that was it. That was it. If you are the smartest one in the group, you need to be you need a smarter group for you to grow. Facts. Facts. Justin said, well said. Just so y'all know I went line. That's my ID. Houston Masters University. Who smiled like that on their ID? I went line. You see it? I would lie. That lady, look at me. And look, remember y'all, I come from the hood where it's black tees and white shirts. This is August 2011. Not black tees, blue jeans and white shirts. I got on blue jeans and white shirt. Do you understand? You look like a baby. I know, I know, I know. Listen, I ain't changed. I'm the same guy. I just got money. <laughs> Say God. That's Tony in middle school. That's it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Listen, that story I told you about the library was not made up. That was a real story. I done been graduated twice from this school. 2015 was the last year I was actually a student. I keep this ID in my wallet to remind me of everything that I went through at that school. And all of it was self-inflicted, too, let me tell you. All of it. Ain't nobody ever did nothing to me. I did that to me. Y'all. Let me just look at this. Look at it one more time. I wouldn't lie to y'all. I wouldn't know. I know I got that charisma and I'd be, I could make stories up, but I was dead serious about this. Okay. <laughs> I was dead serious about that. That old lady, she probably did die, but she lives today. You understand? <laughs> she lives today. That's a real story. Real deal story. Now, why y'all not posting? Let me bless you for a second. I'm not even talking about content. I'm just saying if I was you, I would absolutely be like Chris and use me. Yeah, Chris is the only person that I saw do what I would have did. Chris, unmute your mic, man. The only person. Yo. <laughs> tell him what you did, because I would have did the same thing. So basically, I took the picture and then on me, how I think marking wise, I said, you know, it just makes a lot of sense for me to use a picture that we had together. We already cool like that. And the bonus, which I wasn't thinking about, <laughs> which made sense. Is the shirt that I had on, I caught this later, said, you can't judge me, which made the pop even bigger. And then I made like a whole post about it, which was inspirational at the same time. So it made an impact showing of someone who did a great thing uh, while combining my journey to Rise, while also basically putting my foot down and showing my light. And I think that's what made a, a huge impact in it caught a lot of people's attention because I wasn't expecting people to share it and then start messaging me and hitting me back like that. But it makes sense though. And they messaged you, didn't they? Yeah. Because losers like looking at winners and winners like being with winners. Heck, I even got people booking me. <laughs> you know, I don't know how to express to y'all that at the rise of me, is the rise of you. So take it all the way back to what was perceived to be arrogant and watch as according to my teaching style, we do recapitulation and you go, ah, that's what he was talking about. I said, I ain't going to lose. So if you know I ain't going to lose and if you know I'm going to spend enough money 
just to prove to y'all I ain't going to lose. <laughs> like, just on that alone, then you might as well say, well, I'm going to take credit for everything. This little crazy nut fit to do. I am. And I just get, Antonio, can I have an interview? Antonio, hey, the picture. Shh, you know, you know what I would do? I can't, I can't, I can't. I hope I already met the next president of the United States, Jerry, <clears throat> of years from now, years from now. I'm not talking about this election. Years from now. I hope we took a selfie because I can't wait for it. I hope, you know, let me push it around. I hope me and her took a selfie. Somebody go catch that. Hashtag feminist. Okay. I uh, hope me and her <laughs> take a selfie. And I hope that when she win, I could be like, yo, I've been knowing her. Look, this, this picture 20 years ago. <laughs> Introducing the Lowe's List for Innovation. While our aisles are filled with innovative products, we've selected our favorites just for you. Like the exclusive Whirlpool washer with industry-first two-in-one removable agitator. We love this washer because you can customize any load. And with other smart features to streamline your laundry routine, this product is a must-have for families. Shop the full Lowe's list of top picks at Lowe's.com. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. U.S. only. Warm weekends are back. And that means more time for enjoying the outdoors. Give your deck an upgrade with Olympic Maximum Stain and Sealer in One from the Home Depot. Protect the beauty of your projects for years to come. And don't worry about planning ahead. With Olympic's weather-ready technology, you can stain when you want to because it's rain-ready in just eight hours. Upgrade today to America's most trusted wood care brand at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Yo, the time is now. You do not wait until the software drop, yo. You don't wait. You don't see. You don't wait until stuff line up for you to line up. You want to be first access. You want to be so close to me that you ain't even. You just shoot me a text, and I respond. You understand what I'm saying? Like, because the first 27 people of Facebook, it's more now, they are billionaires with a B. With a B. B. It ain't 27, it's 22 of y'all. The only way for me to get to a hundred billion dollars is I must provide a hundred billion dollars or more service to the public. There is no other way. And somebody like y'all should be saying, well, mathematically, from a universal perspective, he can't get that money and leave us behind. It's impossible because money doesn't work that way. Earl Nightingale says there's two ways to make money. You got to make it in a mint. But if you do that and you ain't no mint person, that's called fraud. They're going to send you to jail. They don't care. You're going to jail. That's counterfeit. So the other only way to make money is to serve people. And the only way that I'm going to keep being in the news is I got to keep making other people famous. That's just common sense. That a wealth mindset would say, yeah. But that middle class mindset says, let me watch. All right, man. See you this afternoon, bro. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Y'all gotta go. Yo, you won't. You want a car note or you want a car lot? Because let me tell you, I'm not even thinking about the car lot. My mind says so cold. 
I'm not even thinking about the manufacturing company. No. I'm the material. I own all the material to make the manufacturing company. Plus, I want some of that residual. So I'm every nut and bolt that they got to use to make the company. And, Jerry, I wrote the artificial intelligence program for the machines to do all this here on the lines. I'm way past cars and car lots. You want to be the star athlete, take yourself to the gym. You want to own the team, go to the library. I'm a library kind of I don't think people call that. Man. (laughs) Man. You understand what I'm saying? 818 just flopped in our laps. Clearly, let me tell you how I perceive what happened. Clearly, the universe said one or two things, and both of them are prosperous, Carol, because everything is prosperous. Universe saying, Tony, that was a good plan. Since you wrote it down according to Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, <laughs> since you had a burning desire or persisted, <laughs> it's just, by the way, we keep throwing it out there. And we're going to give it to you. Unfortunately for your plan, it wasn't good enough. So we're going to do our version better than what you wrote down. That's version number one. Version number two, everything I just said, but 818,000, that's not enough, Antonio. Let's go 818 million. Sign the universe. Yo, I told y'all, I sat on this call, I said, I'm going to go get 818,000, but y'all going to have to have these conversations. Didn't I say that? I said that, didn't I? Who went to my inbox, or if you got access, who went to my comments and struck up a conversation? See, that's see, that's 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 that right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's that that's that garbage I'm talking about, yo. This this is what I'm talking about. This this is this is what I'm trying to get you to understand. Who the hell said conversations had to be one way? Right now. Look. Let's do this one. Two hundred and thirty eight thousand followers, Grace. You understand? Yes. Two minutes ago. I didn't even know that was there. Y'all not listening. I didn't even know that was there. What's the name of that group? I see the link. I don't even know. There's one on LinkedIn too. Up see. See what I'm saying? I don't even know. You say it's on LinkedIn, Shaker? That's right. See what I'm saying? Have you got have y'all gone to Instagram and shared this to your story? Listen, let me just stop because because sugar, let me tell you what poor folks say. And poor is anything that's not wealthy. You understand? Well, I ain't poor. Yeah, he is if you ain't wealthy. What is wealthy? Do you got everything you want? Do you have wholeness around you? You got money and relationships. Are you satisfied with your life? Are you content in whatever condition you're in, both abased and abound. Do you understand? If the answer to any of those is no, then you're not wealthy. And what you do is you say, I'm not. Let's go get my wealth. Because it's my birthright. You ain't got to earn nothing you were born for. So my question to you is, have you gone and dropped these conversations? 
Because if you haven't, you are your problem. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Let's let's break it down. Let's go to my page. I let me, let me just show you. Go to my page. <clears throat> Here's my page. And according to me, as usual, I literally replied to every last person. Now, check this out. This lady in 2009 came to the house, one of the houses that I own. And <clears throat> it was ministry. It was right after Hurricane Ike, and it got damaged in Ike. And they came through. She was a kid then, like 13 years old. They came through and did a $20,000 renovation on the house and fixed it. I had to pay a dime. It was it was church related. And we stayed in touch. And she says, Miss, you're so happy for you. And I gave her a real deal message. I got a special place for you and for what you and your friends did for me 10 years ago. Incredible how grinding. Like, this is a real message, y'all. But don't, look, respect. <clears throat> got you, bro. Respect back to you, classmate. If y'all don't know who this is, this is this is Beyonce's cousin. He handles all the touring for Beyonce. Just happens to be me and Monica's classmate. That's literally Beyonce's first cousin. We got lucky. Beyonce, her mom is from Galveston. My office is in Galveston. We went to Galveston Ball High School. Look, boom, yo. Psh. She talking about others. Uh oh, she talking about other stuff. So I was like, "Look, I'm on it. I feel you. Just seen you the other day. Let's rock with that." DM me. This lady saw me on Goldcast, added me, been inboxing me ever since. I inbox her all the time. I respond every one. Sent real message. Look it. Then she responded back. That's real message. Ain't none of these messages easy. Boom. They go law. Man, you already know what time it is. This guy. Oh, I missed him. Thanks. Oh, I missed him because he's a loser. That's spam. That's why I missed him. That's spam. Loser. Right? Real Georgia game. So I responded back with likeness. Look, shoe. Bam. Fist. Whiskey. You know me. You know how I roll. This dude, and everyone, but not just them, man. Listen, ain't nobody playing. Ain't nobody playing. If you go to Facebook, be the same thing. Inbox, same thing. You know how many followers I'm getting? How many text messages are happening in the phone? Young guy, yesterday, say, listen, man, I'm young, man. Just had a baby doing my thing, grinding. I want to know how can I take care of my little girl? Can you help me? I said, what you looking for? Man, I'm just looking for the way. Understood. We've been talking ever since. Right now. Right now. Right now. No messages. Y'all see that? That's because Deanna ain't no dummy. The 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 post says text him directly. I don't own Instagram. Zuck does. I own that text message, don't no, I? No. I'ma respond to every last one of them. I'ma send them links back to my universe. I'ma have all these conversations. The Grace, Monica, Reggie, Diana, anybody trying to be a millionaire? Did you run on a post and be like, man, boom, Antonio, blah, 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 let's link up. Because conversations create clients. And if you ain't on all that energy, having those conversations, after Friday, I told you, I'm going to get the people. But you're going to have to have the conversations. You know you're wrong. But you ain't wrong for me. You're wrong for you. 
So this is a punch you in the neck session. Kindly. Because that middle shit is over, son. It's done. It's disgusting. I can't relate. And I wouldn't even follow me if I could relate to that. I'm Wayne Gretzky. If I was to go play hockey right now, Wayne Gretzky got to go. I respect his legacy. Man, best. Go. I'm next. I'm Ronaldo. Got to be international. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be like The Rock. The Rock just bought the XFL. You know how much of a boss move that is to basically tell your old boss, <laughs> I save you now. That's what that man did. That man told Vince McMahon, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I made you a lot of money. Now I save you. Now you make me my money back. Yeah. How many of y'all would like to buy your old boss's company? Because I, I know I would. Because I got a and few. And fire him. <laughs> exactly. And fire him. <laughs> In his own words, you're fired. <laughs> you understand. Yo, come on. You know what I'm saying? I can't relate, y'all. I'm telling you. I I really want I really want to drop a few f bombs, but I don't need to. But I want to. It's in my spirit. I'm gonna need y'all to know what you want. And go die for that. That's your problem. Shaker, it came right back to your question. The beautiful question you asked yesterday. Forget that I answered it. Y'all lived it. Y'all lived this man's question. Remember, in the middle of this man's question, my man said, I don't I can't vibrate at the trash can frequency. That's not where I come from. But I am in the middle. You came from far left. I'm trying to get far right. This is what this man said. Can you tell me how you got there? Because I can't go far left. And I stopped right there. And I said, that's the problem. Y'all not willing to lose. Your bills are your God. Oh, you could tell me you worship all, all you want to. You don't serve the Lord. You serve Bank of America. Don't fool me. Wait, no, you can fool me, but you can't. But I'm going to let you try it. But I'm going to call you out right now. Whatever religion you serve, you don't serve that religion. You don't put no money there. You do that religion two hours. You meet for that religion two hours a week, three, four. But you grind. You grind for your oppressor. You you let yo you let people that make thirteen dollars an hour call you and stress you about a two hundred dollar bill, and you get all nervous, and your armpits sweat, and you and then you pray to your God to deliver you from the God that's oppressing you. I can't relate, Steve. I can't relate. I got something to add. Man, please. And I'm almost done. I think this yeah. is going to be the icing on top. You said that. How about being a slave to your customers? Ooh. That, another bill. <laughs> Another bill. Because you're in the self-employed quadrant. Not real talk. Think about it. Wherever, wherever most of your money go, that's your God. You, man, you say whatever. 
But but every the six sacred texts I know say the same thing. Where your money is, your heart is. Y'all listen, man. I want everything. I'm not here to justify how much I want to nobody. I'm not here to spiritualize how much I want. I'm not here to defend myself to tell y'all how much I want. I want everything. And I know I can get it all without, without taking from you. Because I know I'm a good person. I know what I'm going to do with everything. I'm going to give it back. Wealth of the wicked laid up for the righteous. Come on, Samuel. Let me hear from you. Oh, he put his hand up. Probably can't unmute. Land is playing. Listen, y'all. Y'all need to stop playing with your future. Today, you need to, if you go to bed with energy, you shouldn't even took yourself to bed. Real talk. Yeah. If you go to bed and you got to sit there, scroll Facebook for an hour, listen to Netflix, if you're doing that, if you got to watch TV to sleep, you should even went to sleep. You know what I'm saying? You got work to do. Somebody, somebody got to tell you. Let me tell you. This is why I am. I don't want to tell you what to do. I keep coaching you and telling you what to do. You're going to get it done. There's one thing I want you to understand. Ain't damn one of y'all made a mistake. Come, hold, on, hold on real quick. Come on, Sam. Let me hear from you. Good morning, everyone. Listen. Good morning, kind sir. Sir, you are dead in it. I advocate about that all the time. You will spend money where you want to and the things that need to get you where you want to. You don't, like you said, about tithing, slaving. I just talked to Grace this morning. I said, I'm tired of doing 16 hours for somebody else. Uh, and, and I'm not getting everything that I can when I know I'm a great leader. But you are dead in it. That's why I called her this morning to make sure I buy, how we do my payment. I want to make sure I can get it in there because you got to get right. that. It's a key. Seed time harvest is coming. And one of the things I told her about y'all that I respect, because I've been around a lot of people, even church folk, that do, they, they, they pull from you all the time, but don't give back. And man, y'all reach out even when I've been busy like crazy for the last two weeks, and I got a high respect for that. And I, I guess that's just some of the harvest that comes back to me, as I've always did that. And I just appreciate y'all back you. And everything that you just dropped ain't nothing but straight fire. My man, that's what I'm talking about. Good job, Grace, for that. That good job. That was a most excellent compliment to you. Good job, very good job. Receive that. Receive it. You receive it. Good job. Sammy is a man of of, of good substance. Good substance. Hey, man, at you. My man said, Grace, look, put me in there. <laughs> hey, bad at you. He did. Tell you something. He did. He's like, hey, okay, look, can I call you for my car? And I was like, what are you calling for my car for? <laughs> And he say, "Hey, so you know how this work? Do I need?" I say, "No, yeah, we go. We go. It automatically charges you on this date because you signed up on this date. So every day of that month. Oh, okay. He ready. I He's a, look, he ready. God <laughs> damn. He I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him. He also said, you know, he also recognized that the love you showing him is, is he getting that back now. You feel what I'm saying? Because he put that out to people, so he know he getting that back too. He know he he knows that how you treat him is his birthright because that's how you treat others." as well right and he knows see when you when 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 source when god is in it it always grows anything that has god it grows it, it, it and it's a good growth not no infection stuff a good sustainable growth so let me tell you this last thing i ain't let me tell you two last things one last five seconds i ain't letting up on you you following the wrong one there's a lion on the logo. You understand? 
<laughs> you follow the wrong one. <laughs> I ain't letting up on you at all. I'm not okay with you being average. Okay, that's the that's the one thing. That's the first thing. Now here's the main thing. You ain't made no mistake. Let me tell you something. With me, without me, you still gonna win. I'm not here to preach to you scarcity. I'm, 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 I, uh, I love God way too much to try to manipulate you. I love myself to even plant a seed like that. Ain't damn one of y'all gonna mess up. You can't. There are no such things as mistakes. What you're doing is you're taking a longer path to get to where you want to go. And when you get in your spirit that now is your season, then God will act appropriately to your spirit. And that is a real deal word for somebody. You keep delaying your blessings. Stop blaming God for your timidity. That's on you. There ain't no mistakes. You ain't messed up. Everything you did yesterday is exactly what you want. And it is the most perfect, precious thing you could have done. Because it's exactly what you want. But as for me and what I want, I can't relate. Me and my house, you understand. <laughs> I can't relate, sugar. I can't relate. I got people to help. Steve Googled me by chance and fooled around and believed in me, and I'm not letting that down. Phil Susan took a chance, told Jerry years later, Jerry believed in me. I'm not letting that down. You, you got me messed up if you think that I exposed myself on camera to look like a liar. <laughs> I don't know what hood you think I come from, but we don't do that in the hood. In the hood, don't nobody lie about what they say they're going to do. You get shot for that. Real Where I come from, you get shot. If you say you're going to do something, you do that. Because if not, you look like a snitch. And snitches, we know what snitches get. That's where I come from. It's a great business practice. You ain't made no mistake. But you did make your choice. Carol, last words on you. Yeah, um, <clears throat> true story. I've been thinking about all of this every day. Good. And I have to get out of the thinking mode of it, right? To get motivated to do. And then there's this part that says, okay, I want to do this. And then I'm like, okay, I can write this down, but what platform do I use? And then I get all caught up in my brain and the day goes and it's another day. So I was, I was just thinking, I'm like, universe, tell me how to get out of this mode because I know I got to do, I have it, but why is it not moving? What is it that I need to do? I'm swearing right now. No, I'm affirming. I don't swear. I'm affirming right now. This oh. day, three oh, messages came to me. One was that little, that little thing that um, Deanna was talking about from the universe, a message from the universe. Yep, yep. Okay, so a message from the universe came in my email and I opened it to find out, you know, what this was about and what did it tell me? You got to take action now. On, An email came from somebody else and says, are you, are you, um, are you feeling stuck? Well, all you got to do is take action now. I swear three of them. And I'm like, well, if that, if the universe didn't give me what, what I needed to hear, then I'm just not listening. And this just happened yesterday. Yeah, mm, man. That's, that's, a, that's my only response. <laughs> I wanted to say something. <laughs> but the spirit was like, ah. <laughs> Come on, Sammy. <laughs> Is he frozen? I think he, is he frozen? Nah, he might be frozen. You ain't made no mistakes. But you damn sure made your choice. Sugar, come on. 
I'm just going to say thank you. Everything that was just said, I don't know who else you were speaking to, but you were. Oh, hold on. You muted yourself. You, you muted yourself. Sugar, you muted yourself. Last thing we heard was, I don't know who else you were speaking to. No, no, no. Start over. Start over. Put that word out there. Oh, no. I was just saying thank you. Because everything that you said from last week, well, months, but last week, all the way up to what you just said this morning, I've been toiling with getting out of this mindset that I need this to be able to do that. And it's, it was my invisible oppressor. Okay, well, that was released, and I don't have that invisible oppressor. And so now I can go forth, make the phone call, let them know it's about me doing my thing now. I've helped you. I've done what I could do, but now it's time. It's all about me because I'm always help, 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 help. But then where am I? And I'm sick of being stuck. And you have unstuck me today. And I say thank you, Antonio. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Deanna. And thank each and every one of you that's been on this line that has spoken into my life from the first day that I have been on this call. But you will see, and I will dominate. Come on, y'all, love each other, Mike. Come on, go with that woman. Amen. Woo! Yeah. Yes. Powerful. Samuel. I'm, I'm clearly I'm not your friend because I got you going after her. Clearly. Okay. I uh, listen. <laughs> I just want to encourage her, and we are friends, my brother. But I just want to encourage her. I promise you, just like I just said, I planted seeds for years. Yes, I sir. got my tribe now, thanks to Pam Norris, and I honor her first. But I just want to pass this out there to you. I, I like now, right now I'm about to fix a seafood, macro and cheese seafood thing with crabs and shrimp and all that stuff. I do this stuff, I feed my job all the time, anywhere up to 70 people regularly. But let me tell you what happens. I get Ruby Tuesdays, Fridays, all kinds. I don't even ask for it. The harvest that comes back when I don't even ask, and I'm just piggybacking back on sowing a seed. When you paying for stuff, it can come back to you. It don't come back all, all, all the time right away. So I just want to encourage you, keep doing what you do. I promise you, he going to land them when you need them. Because right now is right when I needed the Antonio Smith Jr. Uh, tribe. And, and, and Pam Norris and I have been connected for 20 years, but it's just flourish. So stay encouraged. And I'm done. Y'all have a blessed day. Amen to that, man. I appreciate all y'all energy. Moral of the story is you did exactly what you wanted to do. And it's been your blessing. If you want more, then it's also your curse. You get to decide. I am not. At no point will I ever underachieve again. It, it makes me angry. You, you just, you, I'm just not okay with it. It makes, it makes me angry. Angry. Just the thought of not going hard. I spent too many years taking that damn trash can with me way after I left it. I ain't doing that no more, Satisha. I'm willing to die for this. I'm willing to die for you. I will more than likely die doing this on camera in front of millions of people because I can't think of no other else way to die except for sleep. Real comfortable. Wake up in heaven. Stomach full of food. 
The only thing I can think of. But I can't do it no more, y'all. I'm telling you. I got everything that I want. And I'm hungry as hell still. I can't relate. If you can, that's cool. But I can't, Steve. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to do it for Steve. I'm going to do it for Jerry, Phil, Susan, now Sugar, now Samuel, now my Yuri. I'm not going to stop until my Yuri is wearing suits and dresses and she is in the top 1% of her country. And, and when she has enough young girls inboxing her and saying, you are the reason I left this situation, because I looked at your story, I looked at your post. I would have died if it wasn't for you, my Yuri. Until that happens frequently, I ain't did nothing. Don't even give me no props. That's my mind. I ain't got no other drive, Jerry. No other. Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can't play better. You can dominate. All right, everybody. Go get that shit. Check out great summer specials at Macy's Memorial Day Sale. Like Swim She'll Love, $12.99 to $25.99. Swim He'll Live In, 40% off. And 40% off casual sandals and more. Or get an extra 20% off more summer essentials with your coupon or Macy's card. Plus, Star Rewards members can earn rewards even faster during Star Money Bonus Days. Going on now at Macy's. Savings off sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. Lowe's has more of what trade pros like you need to get the job done. That means more delivery options, more convenient hours to fit your schedule, and more savings to fit your budget. More of the brands you trust the most. More of everything you need all in one place. That's why, in the past year, more electricians, landscapers, painters, plumbers, and other pros helped make Lowe's the new home for trade pros. U.S. only. 